Hi guys, as you work with Backendless Database, there is a very useful tool built right into Backendless Console that we call REST Console. It is available on the data screen. So you switch to the data section and there is a tab called REST Console. REST Console works with whatever the currently selected table is. In this case, the table that I have selected is called Film. It contains roughly about 2000 objects. And for the most core functions available via REST protocol in Backendless, you can execute an API call right from REST console. And this includes uh, ability to create new objects, running uh, queries, updating an existing objects, deleting objects, or running bulk operations. So the most basic one would be uh, retrieving data from the table. So if, if you select your table and switch to REST console, click on get, and that executes the, uh, the get operation uh, for, uh, for this specific table. For any operation that you execute here, you can export it uh, in different formats. So run a request as I just did now and click on export last request as. And then here there are different formats that you can select. The uh, CURL is selected by default. If you click copy, then uh, this request is copied as a CURL. And if you switch to the terminal window, you can just paste this request in here press return and that executes that the same request as a CURL request. Whether you work with the REST API or APIs provided through our SDKs, REST console could be a very useful tool, especially when you need to diagnose how the data is returned from backendless into your application. So going back to the GET requests, meaning the requests where you can query the database, there is a number of different things that you can do right here from the interface. So you can set the page size. So for instance, if you want to retrieve only five objects at a time uh, to test data paging, just specify the page size, click get, and you will be getting five objects at a time. You can also specify the offset, which indicates the index in the order of all the objects in the, in the table. So let's say if we want to get from the 20th object and get five of them, set 20 here and then five run get, and then you will be getting that specific page. You can also specify additional where clause. So for instance, if we want to get all the objects where the release year is 2006, then you can put that uh, where clause right here. So let's say release year equals 2006. Run the query. And then you're going to be getting five objects starting from the 20th where this where clause is true. You can also specify individual properties that you want to get in the response. So let's say if we want to get the length, uh, rating, and uh, let's say we want to get the title. So these are the properties that we're requesting run the get operation, and then we will be getting just these properties. Object ID and three underscores class are always going to be included since they are system level properties. So these are the get operations. If you have any relations, and in this case, the relations that I have for this table are, as you can see, actors, categories, and language. So let's just select these two actors and language click get and now for each movie that we're going to get from this specific table it also includes the related objects so these are the get operations but likewise you can also execute functions to create new objects so for instance if we want to create a new movie then here we would need to post the the request uh, body and uh, let's say that the title is going to be matrix and then execute the post request and this creates a new object in the database for the specified title. Likewise, if you want to execute, let's say, a delete operation, where we want to delete all the movies that were released in a certain year. So here we have the WHERE clause. Set the bulk operation checkbox. And then if you execute delete, then it will delete all the movies released in this specific year. So here it is, delete. 1963 objects were deleted. Let's switch to the data browser window as we can see that uh, actually all of the objects were deleted because uh, all of them were uh, released in year 2006. And now we have only one object left, which is the one that we created earlier. Uh, so going back to REST console, we reviewed ability to retrieve 
data, update objects, uh, bulk delete. If you were to do an individual delete, then uh, it is also possible you would need to specify object ID. Like for example, let's delete the one that we have there just so we end up with a blank table in this case. So here I copy the object, put the object ID in here. And if we run delete, then it's going to delete that object that uh, we have created in there. Now it is a completely blank table. As you can see, the entire CRUD, create, retrieve, update, delete set of functions are available in REST console. Finally, one other thing that I want to mention that if you open the uh, developer tools in uh, the browser and uh, as you run individual requests, so let me just create this new object again. So here you will see that there was a request made uh, into this table. Uh, and this is the request right here, uh, post request to create this data object. As you can see, this is the object. You can actually inspect what that API looks like on the wire. Uh, with all the request headers, response headers, you can see the actual response, what came back from the server. Essentially, all the things that Backendless Console visualizes for you, but you can also get it right from the browser. And then from here, if you want to export it out, you can also do that as well. Uh, just right click on that request, do copy, and then you can copy it uh, in different formats. That's also may happen, uh, may end up being rather useful for your development. Very useful tool. Uh, we use it internally quite a lot and I hope we, you will find it useful for your application development as well.